Hey y'all, a narcissist's intentions are worse than any type of roots or witchcraft or anything else that someone might do to you. Their intentions are to do one and only thing, and that is for you to worship them. And see, what the thing is, these narcissists are looking for someone with a new mind, like a baby, so that they can direct your thought patterns. So 10 times out of one, your mother or your father is probably a narcissist. And so what they do is they try to make you think more of them and less of yourself. So that they will have you do things like put up a Christmas tree. And then once you put up the Christmas tree, at night they will come in and take the tree down and redecorate that tree. They want you to feel like you're just not good enough. Whatever decision you make, they're going to downplay it. If you decide, let's say you want to buy a house. You buy the house. They're going to tell you good, you should. And then they're going to also tell you how it's not a good idea. So no matter what you do, they're, they are always right in your head. And you was always wrong, no matter what it is. And so that's the training process. Whatever you do, they're going to agree and disagree with the exact same thing. So that is the training process of being in a relationship with a narcissist. And like I said, it comes from basically being raised to not appreciate or value your own decision-making process because you've never had a decision-making process because your entire life you have been manipulated by someone that's much older than you someone whose role in your life was to protect you and to teach you the only thing the narcissistic parent did was teach you how to not believe in yourself to believe in them, to handicap you, to make you a victim, and put them in a role of savior in your life. So then the narcissist becomes your God. Their intentions on your life is for you to serve them. And then you get into a relationship with another narcissist, and it's the same thing, but it's a familiar spirit, and so we fall for it. That is it. So in order to get out of these relationships, we have to learn how to trust our own instincts and our own values and our own goals and put all that crap behind us. It could be something as simple as you want a garden in your backyard. You plant your garden in your backyard and you're going to fail. It's not going to be a great garden, but you keep working at it. And these narcissists are going to come and tell you, hey, don't eat those vegetables because the ground is dirty. Or they're going to tell you, you need to have it in containers and buy your own soil. Or you need to not use certain fertilizers. These are all games so that you can look at them for their permission and their validation. You have to learn to basically tune them out, blind them out, don't even look at them, and follow your own instincts. Because at this point now, getting out of these narcissistic relationships, that's why I say... I use gardening to help get out of narcissistic relationships because it's a way to learn and to grow.